Finding Missing Measures in Similar Triangles, Lesson 11.3c. Since corresponding angles are congruent and corresponding sides are proportional in similar triangles, we can use similar triangles to solve real-world problems. We find the proportions and solve for the unknown measure that is represented as a variable. For the past couple videos, we've learned about angle-angle similarity and its postulate when two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. We have a large triangle here, triangle ADE, and we have this smaller one inside of it, ABC. They both share angle A, and this angle B is a right angle, and this angle D is a right angle, so they both have 90 degree angles. So they both have whatever measure A is, and they both have a 90 degree angle, they're similar. So before we begin, let's take a look at this diagram. We have a woman here that's working as a clerk. We have a little child here, and she can't see him over the counter. Little Jimmy wants to ask the clerk a question, but the clerk doesn't see him over the counter. How tall would this clerk need to be in order to see little Jimmy? If she was as tall as point E, she would see him. The clerk's eyes need to be as high as point E to see Jimmy over the counter. And there are two triangles in this diagram, triangle ABC and triangle ADE. Both triangles share angle A and both have a right angle. This means they're similar with two corresponding angles. In similar triangles, corresponding side lengths are proportional. Triangle ABC and triangle ADE are similar triangles. We write our proportion. We've got AD, that's this length right here, all the way across from this point to this point, over AB, which is this part, and it's going to be set equal to DE, over BC, the counter height. We have 5 plus 3, 5 plus 3, over 3, is equal to some height x over the counter height, 4 feet. 5 plus 3 is 8, so we have 8 thirds is equal to x over 4. This is the diagram without the clerk and without Jimmy. We can use the multiplication property of equality to find the value of x, the height the clerk needs to be to see Jimmy. We have our proportion. We know it's 8 thirds is equal to x over 4. We multiply both sides by the denominator 4 to isolate that x. I write it over 1, so it's easier to multiply straight across. We have 4 times 8, which is 32, over 1 times 3, which is 3. And we have 4 times x, which is 4x, over 4 times 1, which is 4. We have the same numerator and denominator here, so that makes 1x on this side. On this side, we do 32 divided by 3, and we get 10 and 2 thirds. That tells us that the clerk would need to be 10 and 2 thirds feet tall, which is 10 feet 8 inches tall. There's 12 inches per foot, so we have 2 thirds foot. We had 10 and 2 thirds foot, but we're going to just deal with the 2 thirds, which means, since there's 12 inches in a foot, we have 2 thirds of 12 inches. That's 8 inches. That's how we know that the clerk would need to be 10 feet 8 inches tall to see Jimmy. We can also solve the proportion equation by cross multiplying, then dividing. We have 8 thirds is equal to x over 4. We do cross multiplying, so we could do 8 times 4 is equal to 3x. We have 8 times 4 is equal to 3x. We did cross. Well, 8 times 4 is 32, and we have 3x. Now, we divide both sides by this coefficient 3. So we get 32 thirds. On this side, we get the same numerator and denominator, so we get 1x. And we can do it as a decimal. 3 fits into 32, 10.66 times, and that 6 is going to repeat. So we can just write a 6 with a bar over the top. 
that's 10 and 2 thirds feet tall. 0.66 is 2 thirds in decimal form. It's unlikely that a clerk would be 10 feet 8 inches tall to see little Jimmy, but little Jimmy is awfully close to the counter. If he were to move back, well, she'd see him easily. Jimmy just can stand farther from the counter. But if he did that, we wouldn't have a math problem for this video. We're finished with part C. We're moving on to D, using similar triangles to explain slope. So to find that unknown measure, we made sure the two triangles were similar, and then we did a proportion equation. If the triangles are not similar, the proportion will not work. Have a great day and join me for part D. Bye.